But you guys need to make sure this ladder goes through here. Help these boys out, my friends. I said priority nine for this stuff. My dudes. They're okay up here, but Devio and Triadonna, they need your support. I mean, I can just dig this out, which is fine as well, but... Just do it right, friends. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Roll to crit with the nine. Those priority nines, he sees them coming. But I would very much appreciate you guys making a ladder for your friends. Like, obviously, I could just dig a little hole there that could leave, but just do it, please. You're not auto. Please don't scream. Sorry. Uh, apologies, sir. I'll try to keep it under control. <laughs> I will have a, a soothing Bob Ross style. All right, all right, never mind. We gotta, we gotta do this. Deconstruct that. Get out of there. You guys can make it up. Soothing Bob Ross style. Uh, oxygen not included gameplay. We're building a little happy area right now. A little happy area for our friends. And everything's going great. Actually, I mean, it's pretty good right now. I'm, I'm sad my friends got caught out here, but... I could have let them out easier. I just wanted them to, to dig the thing that needed to be done. All right, we, we still want to put our little oxygen uh, deodorizer right here. We would like a deodorizer here to keep this area slightly cleaner than it was. New duplicates available. We got our food shortage. Can we prioritize our farm down here at like a six? Like these things, get them prioritized at like a six. Always prioritize the farm ahead of other things. That's your food. It's for the good of the colony, man. It is for the good of the colony. All right, duplicate, let's get you in here. Loud sleeper and you're narcoleptic? That's a horrible combination. You got a nice learning stat, but uh, but yeah. Priority nine, everything priority nine. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bring in Rowan. He can't dig, but he can. He's got decent stats across the board. Rowan, welcome to the team, sir. I'm glad to have you. You know, it's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, we got our farm going. It's got carbon dioxide. We could maybe pump some more carbon dioxide in here. Well, I don't know where we'd get it. Here, let's get rid of this algae terrarium. Deconstruct this, please. I I don't really want to be getting rid of carbon dioxide anymore. I just want it to filter to our plants. That would be preferable. Okay, so this is going to be our power station in here. We're going to have a... Uh, How are we going to do this? So this thing makes, I think, waste underneath it. Nat uh, natural gas generator. I believe it dumps uh, nasty water. So probably what we're going to do is instead of having regular tiles here and regular tiles here. If everything's priority nine, nothing is priority nine. I read that from a fortune cookie. You are correct, sir. You have to, uh, you have to appropriately prioritize things. 
So natural gas generator is going to create, like, uh, waste. Yeah, we gotta, so we're going to have to fix this up real quick. We're going to have to make it so you can get to all these tiles real quick. But you're just going to dump all that wastewater directly through here. And that's how that's going to work. We're going to create a manual airlock here. We're going to seal off this thing. Once again, we're going to use ladders and clear this out. Clear this stuff out. All this stuff here. We need a... We're going to need to pump the natural gas out of here. Uh, that's probably fine, something like that. So this is going to be our little natural gas room in here. <clears throat> We're going to have to put a pump in there, a filter, and whatnot. All the, the natural gas generator is going to be right here nearby. It's going to produce waste. That waste is going to fall down here. That should be all right. I hope. We've got our little deodorizer going in here, so this is going to help clean up some of this nastiness. Hopefully none of you have slime long. We can always build a little med bay quickly if necessary. I'm hoping it's not necessary, but you know, when you're running out here, you're out in this nastiness, you know, sometimes it, it becomes necessary. Food shortage? Yeah, you're correct. Let's build more farm tiles down here. This right here is just our, our farmland. And... We got carbon dioxide up there. Is there any spot where we could be taking carbon dioxide and pumping it into here? Uh, what generates carbon dioxide? Recycles carbon dioxide, produces oxygen and hydrogen, filters carbon dioxide. We do want an electrolyzer at some point. I was going to work on making that, but we hadn't got around to it yet. Because we were kind of working on our power station thing here. Maybe we'll work on our electrolyzer down here too. We can put it in the airlock area, like on the other side of the airlock, and that'll that'll make sure that the nasty gases from there are fully contained and everything like that. So maybe up here we'll build in a... This will be our electrolyzer area. Oh, it's a Beef Lord raid! Lieutenant Volks and everybody are, are stopping by. Hey, guys, welcome. Glad to see you guys again. Lynn, how you doing? Volks, how you doing? <laughs> Man, I'm excited to see you guys again. It's good. You guys are good peeps. How you been? Let's get all those uh, Volks emojis in the chat. Fill them up, guys. Where's my Volks hype set? Can we get a Volk? Let me see. Can I? I, I should be able to do my Volk, Volks hype. Hold on. There we go. Hype? <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's copy our settings here. We're gonna... We need our farmland to be going. Hypes! <laughs> awesome. 
Uh, our colonies... We're, we're still pushing things along right now. We're working to get a uh, natural gas generator going down here. This is going to be our major source of power for our place. That's right, Texas buddy. What's going on, Silent Pauls, man? I'm all about that ATX. Okay, so they're saying food shortage, which I believe to be true. <laughs> but I'm working on the I'm working on plants. I need more and more plants to fix that. Uh, I guess I could also build the musher thing, but I don't want to waste all that water making food. Plus, everybody gets like diarrhea, <laughs> and that's kind of disturbing. Definitely not preferable to be running around with diarrhea in my colony. I don't like it. Not a fan. Uh, yeah, so I got I really got to get this thing situated over here. Can we higher priority this thing? I don't know. I mean, like, Devio said if everything's high priority, then nothing's high priority, which he's, he's correct, but I just want you guys to focus on building this power situation for me. I believe we have a food shortage as well. It's uh, no mistaking that. So I am going to build a uh, microbe musher to try to ease that situation a little bit. Let's see. Where do we want to put that rim? Where do we think we need this? I guess we can just put it up here. Dig into this power line right there. I really hate jumping to these things because they use so much water, but... Yeah, they're getting close. I just built a whole bunch of new farm stuff going on, so... It doesn't hurt us to have the micro musher set up. So these ones are getting close to popping too, but still I think we're, we're, at, a, we're at a level where... I mean, maybe I just need to make some more. Yeah, the stream delay, man. I don't know how much it is on here. I try. I don't know what the what the deal is with uh, with that. I, I have all the settings where it's like it's set to be that, but I think maybe just because I'm a a low follower thing, they don't they don't give me as high priority for all my stuff. Not like this. Our our friend Lieutenant Volks. Bonita, you're not late, man. Welcome to the party. How you doing? Christmas raid? <laughs> uh, oh man, what are we doing now? We want this power situation going. Dude, I love you guys' emotes. I'm so happy to be able to use the, uh, like the Volks hype and all that stuff. It's so... It's entertaining to me. Hey, what was uh, what was Volk streaming tonight? I didn't get a chance to check it out today. Oh, nice, cool. Did he start a new colony, or is it still his gigantic? Colony. God, our food is is in bad shape. Let's get this micro musher up and running because I don't want I don't want anybody getting starving or anything like that. It was the one he started last week. Okay, yeah, for the uh, the tubular update. Awesome, awesome. Our natural gas geyser is getting close to being able to be used over here. We're going to need a gas pump. We're going to need a gas filter. 
where's my ox? Uh, ventilation gas filter. Give me one of these, please. Oh man, you have cookies? What kind of cookies? Did you bring enough cookies for everybody? <laughs> I know that's probably not the case. But cookies are amazing. I was wanting some uh, some gingerbread cookies actually, but I I'll have to figure out how to do that myself at some point. Wait, we don't want crappy little wires coming off of this thing. We're gonna want big boy wires. Let's cancel that wire build. Is there still a wire there? No. Okay. I mean, it looks like there is. Yeah, there it is. Cancel that build. Because we're gonna need. We're gonna need our bigger batteries. We're gonna need heavy watt wires in here. I don't know how many batteries we want. I'm gonna start with four. That might be overkill at this point actually because we don't really have a whole lot going on. But we're gonna lay some heavy watt wire for that. We've gotta get this heavy watt wire back into the base in some manner. We could go like through here create a heavy wad joint plate over here. They need a few more minutes? What kind of cookies are they, man? I always like tales of delicious foods. Chocolate chip. Excellent, excellent choice right there. New duplicate available. Choose a duplicate. Uh, Camille. Iron gut, small bladder, high creativity, immunity. Germ resistant mouth breather. I might just bring Stinky along and have him, like, he can clean up the base a little bit. I don't know. Stinky, welcome aboard, sir. If anybody wants a, you know, a, a, a duplicate named after them, let me know, and I can rename some of our regular things. Volks had brownies, so I got tempted to make my own baked goods. I understand that completely. Brownies are also an excellent choice. It's super delicious. I'm a huge fan. The package got kind of dude. Packaged is still good. Uh, you know, you don't, we don't need to be a, a food snob about this stuff. It's just delicious regardless, I think. So let's send this. This is going to be our natural gas output here. Where else are we going to send this stuff? I don't know. We could just pump it over here and hope for the best. I don't really know what's going to get output over here. Probably some polluted... It's probably going to be like polluted water or whatever. Or polluted uh, oxygen. That's all that's kind of in here regard uh, other than that stuff. We're going to need this thing to get operational probably. So we're going to actually have to kickstart it with a... Uh, a manual generator. I guess the, I mean, there's a better, we could just put the manual generator right there for a second. It's going to get deconstructed once this whole thing gets kicked up and operational. But we're going to need it for now to power uh, these. Uh, vent, these gas filter and pump. So it's going to be in charge of that. I guess we need a... A splitter here or whatever a transformer to power these things ultimately we can put it right over here and send it along that's nice to have natural gas right next to the base yeah this was uh, I found it pretty quick and I've been just kind of heading towards it slowly ever since uh, ever since I found it 
Uh, Bonita, I like filtering the polluted oxygen out first and then using the pump without a filter to save power in the late game. That's a... That's a good idea. I haven't thought of that. Is it possible for me to do that and then maybe, like, disconnect the... I could probably, like, just disconnect the filter at some point in the future. Because once this thing has just got everything kind of pumped out, it's just going to be natural gas in there, right? It seems like I could do that regardless at some point. I could just disconnect that thing. Or maybe I couldn't because I'd introduce more polluted air as soon as I opened the thing. I could probably do it if the gas filter was up here. It'd be, yeah, it'd be easier to disconnect if the filter was outside. So that's a good point. Uh, here, I'm going to move where this gas filter is. So that I could do that at some point. Then I could lock this room. Yeah, this is a good idea. So let's, let's deconstruct this. And then we'll fix that up. The oxygen can come out from elsewhere. We need to, I guess, all these pipes are probably in bad places now. That's not terrible, actually. We can, we can deal with that. Because we're just need, gonna need to funnel it up here. So where's my little split at? My, uh, that's liquid. That's not the right one at all. Gas filter. Okay. So we can just drop it here instead. And then fix this up real quick. Let the game run here. Okay, so we need to connect this to this. We need to deconstruct that. Or I guess we don't necessarily need to deconstruct that tile. Hold on, cancel. We just need to pump this into there. We do need to separate these. How are we gonna do that? I think it may just involve deconstructing them. Here, deconstruct that gas pipe. Deconstruct that one. We'll get it figured out real quick. Connect this up. We want this to go in here, we want this to go over here. And then, uh, honestly, this could just pump into here and I'm actually probably fine with that. I think it's alright. So it's just gonna pump all the stuff out of there. All of that'll be fine. We need these wires to go across here. We need this to connect into here. And then we're kind of getting close to being good to go. Once this is in here, we can just lock this room away. Let's sweep up in here. And let's get this thing at like a uh, priority. Priority six, all this stuff. Can we not uh, harvest this stuff or what is it? Sweep. I want to sweep this. Can't sweep it? I guess that we can't sweep it. So our transformer is doing stuff here, or it will do stuff. This manual generator is going to be the thing that ultimately kicks off this whole little section. At that point, we'll need to start having some transformers over here to get stuff onto the grid. We can put a transformer... Uh, like, up here? Connect that with this heavy wire. You're super slow when it comes to utilizing natural gas and geysers. I, uh, as soon as I... Oh, I need to deconstruct this wire. As soon as I see them, and that the fact they exist, I, uh... I go pretty heavy into trying to get access to them. You had a world at cycle 60 and still uh, none of them. I mean, you don't need them that early. Honestly. 
It's just nice to move towards it, I think, more than anything. What can we make for food up here to just try to ease some of this stuff? I guess we could just... Let's continually make some mush bars. I, I don't like this food shortage we're having right now, so let's try to fix it for a bit. We're gonna need to store some, uh... Dude, I'm a noob as well. I only just started playing this game recently. Um, but it's an awesome game, and I enjoy it a lot, so... I've been watching people play. I've been watching Volks play. I've been watching some other YouTubers play it, trying to pick up things from them. Like this little water lock thing I picked up from somebody's video online. Pretty cool. We need this power transformer to go in. We need... Let's see, the heavy watt wire needs to run across here. We need to get a wire bridge to fix up the other part. And then we need to connect this thing in with regular wire. I guess for now we can just have it go straight into the... into there. No research task. Let's get that fixed up. So what's the, what's the furthest any of y'all have got to, uh, as far as cycles in the game? The highest I got was like 100, so. I'm not very far into the game. I know Vol I think when I was watching Volks earlier, a couple weeks ago, he had like three, uh, like his was on like cycle 300 or something crazy. What do we want to research though? I guess I kind of want healthcare going. Seems reasonable. Tips for food safety. I probably know your tips. Or maybe I don't, but I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to exit out, actually. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's hard to get time to play a lot of games uh, when you're working hard. That's for sure. I, uh, I always just try to make time for these things and try to, I try to get to, like, uh, get to a lot of games that I haven't tried out just to get through things. Hey, what's going on, uh, Roy Lee Blizz? Volks, hi to you, sir. For those of you that were in my uh, stream prior to the awesome raid that's happening right now, uh, Volks is another streamer. He was streaming Oxygen Not Included. He's got a nice fan base. They're cool people. I've uh, I've been hanging out in his streams occasionally. And they just seem like pretty chill people. So I'm glad to have them around. They're always welcome to come watch my stream. And I like catching them on Volks' streams as well, so. I picked up some steam from, from Volks, and he also just made me, you know, we're getting one of these raids before. You guys raided me, like, a couple weeks ago, and it just kind of invigorated things, and it, I enjoyed it, so. Much love to you guys. You made it around 300 cycles and the lag issue made you stop playing. Uh, hey, Bonita, how's the, has the update helped that problem at all? I know, like, Volks' stream was chugging along from that. Hey, Knights92, thank you for following, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Rim. Thank you as well. You guys are great. Okay, what are we doing here? Can we finish building these things, please? I mean, it's all priority five. Let's get it to a priority six. We really need to get this power thing taken off. 
Let's get it going.